chest. Indeed. If you want that well-rounded, fully developed, Clark Kent looking, Superman looking chest, then follow my tips. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can build all kinds of muscle. Before we get started, remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's enjoy the journey to gains. Tip number one. A common theme you see amongst people with a well-rounded, fully developed chest is their posture. Notice, if I round myself like this, my chest looks small. When I open up, bam, my posture. My chest automatically looks a lot more filled, a lot wider. The first exercise we are going to use today in order to build a well-rounded and developed chest, and we're going to use this as our warm-up exercise, is called a prone cobra. This exercise is not only going to open up your posture, it's also going to make you look like you have a bigger chest. So you want to squeeze the shoulder blades together, really focus on scapular retraction. The idea of bringing those shoulder blades together is just going to strengthen all of those upper back muscles so that when you stand up nice and tall, you're going to automatically look like you have a broader, wider looking chest. Again guys, this is your warm up. You want to perform around three to four sets of this exercise, eight to 10 ish reps. This is just to warm up those stabilizer muscles so you can prepare yourself for a beastly push and chest workout. Warm up done, now onto the main workout. First, we're going to hit our upper chest. This is often neglected, the upper part of our chest. Now in order to hit that, especially with bodyweight exercises, we have to be very smart about it with what movements we're trying to recreate. So notice when I press above and across my body, I am firing all of those upper chest fibers. So we want to recreate this movement pattern. Can you guys guess what movement we're going to try recreate in this pattern? So I'm going to do this. Pause the video guys and guess what movement we're going to try recreate. We are going to be doing pipe push-ups. Now we're not going to be doing just any kind of pipe push-up, we're going to be a bit smart with how we execute the movement. The main difference between this and a regular pipe push-up is you want to have a closer grip, a closest grip, almost like a diamond grip. This is going to allow you to really hit those upper chest fibers. I also start to feel it more in my chest when I go to failure. So when I do start to fatigue, I go onto my knees and really again, focus on that technique. So as I push back, I keep that closest grip and really feel my upper chest fibers tensing and squeezing and contracting. Mind muscle connection is key with this exercise. Make sure your pecs are firing. If they're not, play around with the position. Bring your hands a bit closer together. Try for three to four sets, 10 to 12 ish reps or close to failure. So we've talked about opening up our posture. We've also hit our upper chest now. Also to develop a full well-rounded chest, we want to hit the front and side delts. In order to do this, a great exercise for that is pseudo planche push-ups. With this exercise, you want to lean slightly forwards with straight arms. In that lent over position, you're then going to press. You're going to find and notice it hits the front delts a lot more. You're also going to get a little bit of side delt activation as you press. Try to keep as retracted as possible. That way you also feel it in your chest. We are getting there, guys. Almost to completing our ultimate chest workout. We now need to hit the lower chest. And a great exercise for that are dips. Notice when I push down, I'm firing that lower part of my chest. Now obviously we don't want to build too much of that. We just want a little, we want a little sag action. We want a little bit of titty action, <laughs> but just a little bit, because that's what's going to complete overall our well-rounded, developed looking chest. Technique wise for the dips, I know we don't have access to any gyms, but we can use two even heighted chairs at home and you can perform dips like this. Mine are quite low, so you may have to bend your knees, but the main purpose is you want to lean forwards, feel a stretch in those pecs and then press back up into that start position. Try to keep your elbows tucked throughout the movement. If the dips are a bit too intense, place your feet on the floor, almost in like a push up position. You wanna lean forwards, get that stretch in those pecs and then push back up into that start position. Aim for around three to four sets, 10 to 12 ish reps. A big problem a lot of people face when they train their chest is that their triceps just take on all of the work and they just fatigue so fast that they don't really get to work their chest. So it's really important to build up that mind muscle connection and we can do that by doing any pec adduction movement. Now this is quite hard to replicate using just your body weight. There is a few ways we can do this though. The first way are pec adduction push-ups. This is a weird exercise to get right at first, but what you want to do is turn out to one side, look up to the ceiling, and you're going to really focus on squeezing 
one of your pecs. So right now I'm hitting my left pec. As you can see, when I turn up, I really try and bring the hand closer into my body. That way I'm adducting my pec. So I'm getting a greater stretch on one side. You're gonna repeat this on the other side. So again, bring that arm right into the pec. Really feel that stretch and squeeze. You wanna aim for around three to four sets, eight to 10 reps on each side. So that completes the ultimate chest workout. However, I do have one bonus exercise for you guys. You will need parallels for this exercise. However, this exercise incorporates a lot of things we just spoken about. And this exercise is called, if you don't know, iguana push-ups. If you can get your hands on a pair of parallels, this is a beast chest exercise. I mean, just look at the video clip. Look at my chest firing. So this close-ish grip, this crossover grip, is also gonna really target those pecs. So again, it's also gonna target the front part of your shoulders and your triceps, but most importantly, that crossover grip is what's really gonna fire those chest muscles. So look at all those muscle fibers firing. It's an amazing exercise. You're gonna start off with one hand forwards, then obviously switch over so you're working both sides. We don't wanna have any imbalances, guys. Sets of reps wise, you wanna aim for around three to four sets. Again, eight to 10-ish reps on each side. If it's too hard, regress onto the knees. Same principles apply. Keep the elbows tucked and just feel that stretch and squeeze in your pecs. So just to recap, guys, this is your ultimate home chest workout. So that was the ultimate chest workout, guys. Hope you now have a better understanding on how to develop a well-rounded chest. Remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next week with another video. It's been your boy Tyo from Abnormal Beings, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>